All right, guys, we've got a uh, 2017 Ford F-150. It's a Lariat. It's got the EcoBoost 3.5 liter V6 in it. And the owner says that his check engine light came on, took it by AutoZone, and it's got the PO430 catalyst efficiency below threshold, bank two. So I priced catalytic converters for this truck, and they're about $700 each for each side. Um, there's a little trick you can do that will help prevent that code from setting and get you, you know, quite a few hundred miles longer before you have to worry about it. And that's using one of these little spark plug uh, defoulers, anti-foulers, whatever they call them. And what you got to do, you got to drill out the center a little bit and you can actually, this is the same thread pitch as most O2 sensors. And it's the same that this truck has. And what it does is whenever you, you pull your O2 sensor out, you screw this into the boss where your O2 sensor went, then you screw your O2 sensor back into here. And it pulls the O2 sensor up out of the exhaust a little bit to where it helps flatten out that curve that the computer's looking at. And it kind of tricks the computer into thinking that the catalytic converter is doing a little better job than what it actually is. So when the catalytic converters get old, uh, they stop, you know, they stop being as efficient as they were when they were new. And I don't know how many miles this truck's got on it. Let's find out. It's got 127,000 miles on it. And he just wants to be able to get it inspected. He doesn't want his check engine light on. And this is literally about $3 versus $700 for a catalytic converter set, set up for just one bank. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to pull that O2 sensor out. And I'm going to drill that out. And we're going to pull that O2 sensor up out of the exhaust stream a little bit just to help him. You know, this is a friend of mine. You know, to help, help him get on down the road, get it, get, get it inspected, and prevent that engine light from coming on. The O2 sensor is still working. It's just basically not as sensitive as it was because you're pulling up, you're pulling it up out of the exhaust stream a little bit. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. I've got to get over there and get that O2 sensor broke loose. Uh, hopefully, it's going to be an easy one. It's the downstream O2 sensor. You don't use this in the upstream. Those the upstream is what com controls the computer and. Uh, you know, allows it to, to meter the fuel, the air fuel ratio the way it needs to. And then the downstream is basically uh, letting the computer know how efficient the catalytic converter is. So let me uh, get my wrench. And this is the wrench we're going to use because sometimes these O2 sensors, trying to get them out with a wrench, sometimes can be a real headache. So let's see where this one's gonna gonna be living. Uh, okay, yep, there's a stupid. Uh, I don't know if you can see it right there, but that's it. There's a little flimsy ass shield down here that I'm gonna have to probably take off to get to that. That's the O2 sensor. I'm going to just get the wrench on it and hope I can get it broke loose. So I've got an O2 socket if I've got to go that route, but hopefully a wrench will break it loose. 7 8 is the size wrench you need. And like I say, this is this is my favorite wrench setup. Uh, the Milwaukee's that I just got. They are awesome. So I'm going to turn the camera off and I'm going to get this wrench up there and see if I can, if I can get it broke loose. All right, guys, I got it broke loose. The wrench did it. Um, just reaching up there now and loosening it up. So we're gonna pull it out. I'm gonna measure it to see the diameter of it. Okay, that's pretty, that's a pretty, I might not even have to, uh, 
I'm not even have to open that little adapter. Up. Oh, I brought that adapter down with me. Let me go get that adapter and figure out uh, if it's going to screw right on there without any modification. Okay, so this does screw straight on without any modification. However, when I get to looking at this, so you can see where the holes are at around the, uh, you got a hole right there in the center, but you also got these holes right around here. And those are getting real close to where that's chamfered right there. I mean, that would probably work. But I don't know if that little nub right here is basically choking off that hole that's in there that would prevent the exhaust from actually reaching these holes here. So I am going to open that hole up just slightly to make sure that whenever this is screwed down tight that this uh, little nub right here at the center hole isn't going into the smaller hole in the adapter and you know take uh, choking that hole off to where the exhaust isn't going to make it to these outer holes because you do need some exhaust hitting there so that's what the plan is I'm gonna and I'll show you that I'm gonna do this on the lathe uh, you don't have to use a lathe you can just chuck this up in a bias or whatever and use a regular drill and then uh, go from there so let me get this set up all right so here we are set up on the lathe um, and like I said, I'm just going to open the uh, hole up a little bit, not much. I'm going to put a little juice on it. Let's see how fast we spin in here. C3, yeah, that's good. Open it up just a little bit so that that nub can go down in there and there will still be space around it for exhaust to make it up to those outer, the outer circular holes. And just what I've done with this uh, little shroud right here, I've just taken the one screw out, it was an 8 millimeter, and then I've just stuck my DeWalt driver in there to hold that down so that I can have a little bit of access to reach up in here. And to get to that. So basically what I'm going to do now is screw a little piece on here. Okay, that's just screwed on hand tight. Now I didn't disconnect the connector for the O2 sensor. So what I'm going to have to do is turn it uh, in the loosening direction to kind of wind the uh, wiring up. And then whenever I start screwing it in, it will, uh, you know, it's going to tighten and it's going to un uh, unwind the wires, you know, to where they need to be. All right, and there you have it. So the spacer's in. It's just kind of pulled that O2 sensor up. It's still going to be able to detect exhaust. It's just not going to be as sensitive. But it's all tight. I'm going to put this shroud up and uh, clear the codes and go from there. You guys take care.